Hey Go Retro. It's a quick video of a little retro project I've been working on here and there. Um, Cleveland electric neon clock. It's what they call a pinwheel clock. Uh, the second hand on this uh, on this clock it spins around like a pinwheel, and it uh, it spins inside of that uh, inside of that little pattern there, and gives a really cool kind of kaleidoscope effect. So, uh, bought this at a swap meet uh, several years ago. Uh, I wish I would have taken a picture of it when I got it. It was put together. Uh, didn't work. So when I took it apart, found out some parts and pieces on it were missing and some parts and pieces on it were broken. So uh, just sort of been trying to slowly but surely get it back together and uh, I'm getting close. So kind of a few things I had to do. Um, this uh, this clock mechanism on this um, has got a uh, an extra long second hand with two nuts on it. Um, and uh, they are purchasable but they're super expensive. Um, when I got this, uh, this little portion here, um, a rod pushes that in and then you can adjust the time with that. Well, there's a little gear in there um, that was broken off and, and gone. Um, and so I kind of had to uh, oh, make several purchases on eBay of different size gears to kind of try to guess. And in the end, I ended up having to grind one down and file some teeth into it to make it work. Uh, it's not the smoothest and most perfect um, mechanism. Uh, now, you, when you push it in, you can adjust the, the time, even though it's a little bit rough, but, but it works. And uh, like I said, this, uh, this clock mechanism with this long second hand on it was like 250 bucks. So I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna spend that on it. Um, what was also missing was the neon transformer on it. So um, again, picked one up online. Let's look at it here real quick. Um, this is the one I got. It, it seemed to me like it was a little more of a, of a powerful transformer. Um, and I purchased that one just, just guessing, you know, that with uh, three pretty good sized tubes in neon, it would need you know, a little more of a powerful transformer. Um, <clears throat> I have wired it up and it does work. Um, uh, once I uh, once I get it plugged in here, um, I'll continue this video and let you guys see some more. All right, here we are uh, with the next step in the process here. Um, got the neon tubes wired up and got the clock mechanism wired up. It's all underneath there. It's kind of a spaghetti in there. And I'm the next step is to fit this down over this case here um you know it's old beat up clock so it's not fitting perfectly i'm gonna have to pry it and tweak it a little bit to get it to work but i figured i'd plug it in and make sure everything was working on it before i got it all put together because it doesn't look like getting it together is going to be a super easy task so as you can see i bought kind of a oh a cloth lamp cord just to kind of just to kind of uh go with the go with the retro look on it. So yeah, so let's plug it in, see if it works. And it does. Really cool neon colors on this clock. This is, I believe, to be the original tubes. So the, the orange and the white and the green. Um, when this thing's together, it's just gonna be amazing. It looks like, uh, is that second hand moving? It is very slowly. So yeah, so uh, that step is done. Now I just gotta get this thing put all back together and uh, and continue the process. All right, we're back and here it is, assembled. Uh, as expected, uh, not without challenges. Um, the, the main case on it was, uh, you know, a little beat up, a little warped. So uh, took a little pry and a little clamping to get it together, but we got it there. <clears throat> as you can see, Probably was a green body at one time, painted silver, um, you know, probably hung on a wall where they painted the walls white and got some white paint all over it. A little busted up, a little cracked up, you know, just the way we like them here at Go Retro. Not restored, just repaired. Definitely a retro project. So let's plug this thing in and see if it works. It's the maiden plug-in here. All right. All right, wow, there it is. 
Look at that kaleidoscope. How amazing is that? Wow, that is just too cool. Only one question left. Where to hang something this cool?